video I'm going to show you how to create a totally secure download area. What you're going to need is a password protected directory that you can set up in your cPanel right here. You're also going to need two HTML pages. You'll have a thank you page like this. It says thank you for, for your payment. The download page link and password will be emailed to your PayPal email address shortly. The other page you're going to need is a thank you page that goes inside the download, the protected download directory. Thank you for your payment, blah blah blah, which would be your customary text that you have on a download page, like you need the uh, Adobe Reader and whatever else you need to put on there, and download your product here, and that'll be the hyperlink to download it. Okay, so what you do first is you'll need to set up your password protected directory. So click on password protected directories in the cPanel. And then in here you'd pick your directory. Now if you don't have one, first you would make your directory using File Manager or an FTP account. So we'll go into File Manager and just set one up. So you need to go into where your web documents are. In a lot of cases it's in a folder called public underscore HTML. Other servers might use something called htdocs. If you don't know that you'd need to contact your server provider and find out. Anyway, so we go inside there and then in here we can create our directory that we want to password protect. To do that we just click on create a new folder and over on the right here we give it a name We'll just call it password protected. Okay, and that's now created a directory called password protected somewhere. There it is. Okay, now we go back and we will password protect the directory because right now it's just a regular directory. So we go into password protect the directories, we find it in here, and then we click on it. Brings up a screen like this. Click right there, and that will actually turn it into a password protected directory and click save. Now click go back and it's now password protect. The next thing we have to do is actually give it a user ID and password to protect the directory. So you put in here your user ID and password. In this case I'm just going to have the username Tim and the password called password and then you add it. We'll go back again and have a look. We now have a password protected directory with an active user Tim and the password is password. You can also give your password protected directory a name so that when people are in there they can they will see the name displayed. So we can just call this um, protected. Alright, so we're all set up on the cPanel with our protected directory. Now what we need to do is upload our two pages. Again, you'd need somewhere for those to reside. So we'll just create another test, another directory. and. testing or paid, we'll call it paid. Okay, then we go down to our paid directory and go inside it. Now what we're going to do is upload our file. Click on upload and then we'll upload our thank you page here. So we'll find our thank you page. And then click 
click upload. Now our thank you page resides inside here. So if we actually type in the the URL to this, and there's what we see. So the directory to this was our domain name slash paid, which was the name of our directory, slash thank you dot html. So what would happen here is you would have on your main page where you're selling your product, you would have put a payment button, a secure payment button from PayPal or whatever you're using. Once they paid, PayPal or whatever you're using would direct them to this paid page and then it would tell them on this page that they're going to get an email to tell them where to download their product. This way you never have to worry about somebody hacking your download page and getting your product because they just can't because there's no password given on this page. Now the next thing we need to do is go back to our cPanel again and go back to file manager and into public HTML and find our protected directory password protected and now what we need to do is upload our download page click upload okay and now we can bring that up Type in our domain name, password protected, slash DLP, which is the name of our page, dot HTML. And now when we key in the directory, for the password protected directory it asks us for a password so what's going to happen is the person that purchased the product is going to get an email with the download URL and the password so when they get here they will type in Tim and password and they will get the download page this is now a totally secure way to deliver your products. Now to sketch this out for you, here's what the job flow would look like. You have your payment page where your product is being sold and they make a payment there. Once they've made their payment, the payment processor will send them to the thank you page. Then what happens is an email is sent to the buyer. The buyer clicks on the link that he's been sent. The email contains the link and the username and password the buyer enters the username and password and the download page is displayed and the buyer downloads his product. The only other thing you need in between is a way to deliver the email to their PayPal email address. Now you can either do that manually when they buy if you're near your computer or you can do it every so often. Or a better way of course is to have a piece of software that will do it for you and there are two different kinds of software to do that you can use MyDD or My Digital Dispatch or you can use DLGuard they both do it automatically another way that's less secure is that you can set up your Outlook Express email client with a filter of the product name so that when it receives that it actually sends out the URL and the password in an email from your computer now, links to both of those programs are on the web page here. So that's it. That's how you create a totally secure download area for your product.